Hey guys, welcome back to Evaland 2. Really excited to see where this is going because we went from, what, 16-bit? Down to 8-bit, and now we're in 3D. Do I talk to people? I don't have Reggie here with me, so he's not here to hold my hand to walk me through every step of this game. Stuck with me now. Yeah, I'm stuck with Lexi. You know you love me. What? How's the sun harmful? Is this uh is this a store? What <laughs> What is up with your hat, man? That's Mr. Mudwell. Isn't that the guy that like ripped me off forever ago? Well hello there, citizen. What can I do for you? Who are you? Oh I'm but a humble trader from a long line of traders. My grandfather was already a professional merchant at the time of the Empire. He was a real hero, helping those who needed passage in era. Your father was a <laughs> cheat, sir! You lie! <laughs> he didn't work hard. He avoided work. He said so himself. He made me work to get out of the city, you bitch. Thus was born the Fogwell dynasty. <laughs> Screw you and whatever. <laughs> I stole my money back, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> the Great Disaster. Let's find out about that. Let's see, the Great Disaster happened 60 years ago on the 50th anniversary of the Empire's victory over the demons. No one knows exactly what happened except that a huge explosion wiped out the southern part of the continent. Genova was not entirely spared, but the turmoil that followed ultimately led to the Empire's demise. Thankfully, the traders were there to restore order. What can I do for you? Oh Good my god! god. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> After the great disaster, my father and his merchant friends came to the Empire's rescue. Bullshit. They formed the council that would take actions necessary to Genova's survival. Someone needed to act quickly, what with all the chaos. The militia was created to replace the army. The former imperial tax system was abolished to make way for a fairer system, sure. They gave people their freedom back, right. Since then, everyone is free to do trade and become wealthier. Oh, naturally, traders' sons all become traders themselves. But at least everyone has a chance. What can I do for you? God damn. At least I didn't add another five fucking things true. to the list. True. This is true. <clears throat> the explosion of the great disaster left behind a gaping hole filled with this strange substance. As no one rightly knew what the stuff was, people called it smug. Our scientists quickly found that the smug could be used as an energy source. The traders declared a monopoly and of course they did. The buying and selling of smug and built the smug line to transport it to Genova. Since then, everything here has been fueled with smug, and every time people use some, more money lines the council's pockets. Here's a technology grand, aren't I a dick? I already asked about that, right? So yeah. help us out. If you ever need a favor, feel free to come and see me for a price. Just like your ancestors. I'd be thrilled to do what I can, and by any means at my disposal, in exchange for a service of like value, of course. <laughs> I don't do pro bono. The eh. face, though. <laughs> pro bono. <laughs> I just did the same thing as if that were even a thing. What can I do for you? <laughs> Nothing. Not a damn thing. Okay, so. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. These are my friends. That's clickbait girl. <laughs> Not surprised. Yeah. The great disaster. My village, swallowed up by the smug. And look what's become of Genova, Rainbow. Is that really our future? Kinda, I mean, you're looking at it. He did not mention demons. He kind of did. They must be hiding somewhere. I cannot believe they all vanished into thin air. That's not the number one problem here. My village, my parents, everyone's gone. That's not fair, so are his. Rainbow, we have to stop this great disaster from happening. I will not. 
I understand your anguish, Miss CBG. <laughs> but if it is indeed po You talk in a way that is hard for me to read. But if it is possible to change the course of events, we should start by saving my people. They came first. That can't be changed, Bonbon. Says you! I do what I want. I learned about it in school. It's in the past. You're a really close-minded bitch. Perhaps in your past, Miss Clickbait Girl. But to me, your present is my future. What might happen to the Empire is none of my concern. I want my people to live, not to be wiped out by our enemy. But if the Empire doesn't defeat the demons, that could change everything. I mean, maybe I wouldn't even exist. It's just too risky. Well, I'm still gonna do it. And what of the people who live here and now? Maybe they, too, will disappear if you alter the past. Does that not bother you at all? But who knows? Exactly what can or cannot be changed. It may well be that all of this already exists. Perhaps we have already come- This is giving me a headache, Lexi. Sorry. What we do, nothing can be changed. You know what, Blindma? I don't really know. But I'm at least going to try. That's all we can do. How about you, Rainbow? Do you think we can change time? No. <laughs> You're just pessimist, both of you. <laughs> that <laughs> bratty little shit she just pulled. Oh my god, Clickbait Girl actually does that. Like, in I know. Real life. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Pissing her off is like the best thing ever. It makes my day. I do it on purpose. <laughs> and if we can, what do you think we should change? Both. Thank you, Super Morio. I knew that I could count on you. Are you sure, Rainbow? Yes, I'm sure. It's pretty risky. Could throw off the world's balance. Don't give a shit. But we could still need to be able to turn back time. If we could turn back time. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish that song. I hate that song. What? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I hate that song. Screw you, man. I do not know what is possible or even reasonable to hope for. Before anything else, we must find a Magilith. On that much, I completely agree, Blindma. Let's go to the library and dig up some info. I have a good feeling we'll find out where there's a Magilith. You heard that, Rainbow? Let's get going. I'm not deaf, woman. Just mute. Okay, so, so right there, do you see that plant? <gasps> <laughs> That's what I was oh freaking my out about. <laughs> oh my Oh man, uh, uh, there's like, hang on, I gotta show you this. Like, let me leave the city real quick. There's, um, you know, I've been watching a lot of, uh, Dragon Ball and yeah. Dragon Ball Z lately. Well, that, and I can't believe it took me this long to put this together, but this little witch lady that lives up here, it, it's, it's a, um, Dragon Ball reference. Here, let me just show you. Who does this remind you of? Baba from Dragon Ball. I didn't. Th I I can't believe I didn't put that together sooner. <laughs> Except that, that she's a super pervert. Okay, so let's go back to Genova and try to figure out what to do next. Cause like I said, Reggie's not here to hold my hand. Which is both a good and a bad thing, because I'm pretty dense. And whenever it comes to helping you along with the story, you're probably screwed with me here. It's yeah, true. What the fuck are you doing over here? When I was little, I'd always go hide in the sewers with my friends. It was full of rats and other disgusting stuff, but man, did we have a good time. But ever since the great disaster, I don't enjoy life anymore. I don't know why I chose that way to read his dialogue, but whatever. Uh, every fucking game there's a couple emo kings. What the fuck? Um, um, is that a- okay. Oh, okay, there it goes! Hello there. I have lots of high quality equipment for sale. Blah. Oh, there it goes. You don't want to tighten this one too much. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. 
Uh, smug boots. What was I gonna say? No more smelly feet. Now they just smell like smug. <laughs> oh, I don't have anything to sell. Bah. Okay. Most of this episode was dialogue, so I feel kind of bad. Yeah. What the crap is this? Who are you? Oh, she looks like, um... Like, um, uh... I forget her name. Little Ranch Girl from The Legend of Zelda. Um, 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 Ocarina of Time. Oh, and shit. Yeah. Um... Malin. Nope. I think. Marin? Whatever, Ranch Girl. Back in the Imperial days, this place was an orphanage for children. I remember that. Whose parents died in the war. Nowadays, it's a home for people bankrupted by the traitors. I knew they were rotten. Traitors and have nothing left. I would have preferred taking care of the children. Adults only get what they deserve. It's their own fault if they're in debt, right? <laughs> Makes you wonder why they do it. Didn't anybody tell them what might happen? On one hand, yes. On the other, no. Oh, it's glitching on you, it looks like. No, a little bit, but whatever. Well, that's, that's, uh, let me see what's in here. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time just talking to people, but, uh... And dicking around. <coughs> yeah, I mean, well, like, I'll play this game in my free time, but... Oh my god, Walk Donald's is still here. <laughs> Place is hell! <laughs> I am ne- you know what? I'm gonna go in there. Screw continuing with the story. I'm gonna find out what happened to Walk Donald's. Boop! Oh, it's fancy now. <laughs> Welcome to Walk Donald's. We've been serving healthy gourmet food for over a hundred years. My great grandfather founded this restaurant, which fast became the best place to dine in all of Genova. It's the only place to dine. Jine. I said Jine instead of Dine. <laughs> He's a real legend in our family. Your grandfather was a slave driver, by the way. <laughs> Whoa! That, that did not sound good. What's in here? Or did I already go in here? I did not. Who are you? Oh, jeez. Can't seem to find my key to the library, but I'm certain I left it here. I simply must find it to continue my study of the scientific explanation for the predominance of traitors in an echo... What? I don't understand any of that. <laughs> Mimi. Who the hell is Mimi? As long as she stays out of trouble and lets me work. Where is that blasted key? Uh, I bet Mimi has it! Look for shiny things. Damn it, Mimi! Are you Mimi? Come back here! Come back here, Mimi! No, that looks you're not. exactly like the same person you just Let me through! Talked. I'm train training for what? Okay, that's, that's fair enough. Dis disciple of what? You're not Mimi! Are you Mimi? Have you noticed those pies? You're not Mimi. I don't care what you have to say. Are you Mimi? Oh my god, titties. <laughs> You're not Mimi. <sighs> Try the house next door. I don't think you've been in, the, I mean, the other way. Hey, there's a chick. Maybe she's Mimi. Are you Mimi? You just got to Genova, right? Uh, I'll be some retained. You spent too much. <laughs> uh, I already talked to this bitch. <laughs> okay, so I will find Mimi in the next episode, and I'm sorry that I spent most of this one taking around. <laughs> but you know what? I enjoyed it, so fuck you. Anyway, stay salty, guys. Bye. Whoa, <laughs> that, that did not sound good. <laughs>